Hello everyone, it's Lenny again, with a video from Scarlet Monastery Armory. I, I forgot, failed to mention in my last video, Hillsbrad Field, that I actually found out I killed nine guys. Right now, we're doing Scarlet Monastery with uh, 49 pally, uh, 32 pally, me, which is a 34 pally, and a lock, who I failed to remember what level they were. But I'm playing healer in this role. I'm playing mini tank and main healer. And, of course, the higher level pally to 49. She's tanking, tanking them all. This actually right here was a quite long battle. I had to throw a couple potions like you see there, which gave me back full health. This is how you heal a tank. You wait down until they get down to a quarter of a health left, and then you give them a full heal. That is how you heal if you're doing it in a main tank kind of situation. Of course, the second pally, he's standing back, not really doing much because he's kind of low to be in here. But, uh, well, I'm kind of low here too. But we're just... We don't want to pull too much aggro. We want to keep it all on uh, main tank, which does a great job. The warlock curses everybody and throws down her AoE. Only problem that does happen is her void walker does die a couple times because it draws too much aggro to itself. Right here, we leveled. I think I hit, I forgot which level, 34, level 35. If you also noticed, the warlock leveled 2. So we are both happy, just leveled, actually very quick to level in this uh, instance if you run it a couple times between a level 30 and 39. I can actually, if I go through the entire Scarlet Monastery, I can level twice in a night. Now the higher level pally does have a shield wall of the dead and it does activate a bone caster. The shield I'm looking for getting as time goes on. Right here I can tell I'm getting some aggro. I really don't want aggro. I want to keep it all in the tank. And she does a good job of pulling it off people. When she sees something happening, she'll go and uh, pull them off. Right here I wanted to kill this guy, otherwise he'd aggro them, which unfortunately he does. And they all come after me. Now the tank's kind of getting low on health, so I have a full man. I start throwing heals. Comes in a lot of handy. Right here, we're perfectly fine, even though the main tank's low on mana, doesn't really matter. We're just mopping up the rest of these guys, even though a couple more come. And we're just having a great old time. We're just hacking away. This is a guild run, if you haven't noticed already. I, me and uh, three other people of our the guild I'm in, we're all in Scarlet Monastery. I think the lock, she needed something off of uh, Herod in here. But these little guys, they get annoying because they keep pulling the rest of them. We officially pulled, I think, half to almost three quarters of the entire uh, bottom half of Scarlet Monastery. Of course, drops cuffs there and if I don't need to cuffs usually de it. Now here it's really easy because the main tank she just runs in all the way to the end where the doors are to Herod and we just kill everything there. Makes it a lot easier. Works well in tanking situations. Now 
have if you haven't already do subscribe to the YouTube channel youtube.com backslash horde hobs and do hop on the blog I do give out information there that I don't give out in a video at hordehobs.blogspot.com you can see at the bottom of the screen and these guys though tough they may be really against three pallies and a warlock they're not going to get anywhere this is basically what a healer does in a situation like this you wait until the tank gets down to a quarter health and then you start healing right here sort of got worried because the warlock was sort of drawing some aggro onto herself and uh, of course I'm like great now I have to heal her too I'm just about out of mana but at least I have a potion so I do pop a potion but right now it's not needed because we're just mopping up the rest of these guys uses the hammer right there, takes the dude out real easy, and we go loot up, get ready, mana up, heal, and we open the doors. Uh, this is actually a fun one. This was a fun battle. Now this is what you do in a situation like this when you are taking on a boss and you are playing healer. This Herod, when he does swing, he does do an AoE, so do be warned. When he starts spinning, stand back like that, or he does hit you like you saw there, and it is a lot. It's a lot on me. Like, great, I don't need that. So this is usually where I stand for healing, and I told uh, the warlock to come stand by me, because once we kill Herod, the doors will open, and a whole bunch of little guys will come running down on us. But she doesn't come right now, but she does come later. Right now, her Void Walker takes a hit. Big hit because he's, of course, tanking, doesn't stay back. And I'm not really focused on healing the Void Walker. I'm uh, focused on healing the tank. She's doing a good job. We just have our uh, Pally and our Warlock in the background. Right here, I get low on health. I'm like, oops. <laughs> Maybe I should stand back. If I throw myself a bubble main tank actually throws me a heal while he's around spinning just about out of health out of mana so I figured well we might as well go in there as you can see the warlock comes up by me because when the little guys do come down we did find this out from experience you have to come down by Herod when he dies do not stand up by the doors because they'll all come and stab you in the back and they will kill you that's what we found out the hard way with one guy now here he, he drops a cloak and he drops a ravager. That was a good drop. Of course I got it from that one. Now right about here we all decide to jump down and all the little guys they come running at us. So we all throw our AoE. And of course I love this every single time. They all just fall over, they go, ooh, <laughs> fall over. They don't even do anything. It was great. So that's basically Lenny and Run in Scarlet Monastery Armory. Next up is we basically all just run out and we run into the library. And here's a clip from the library. And of course, as you can see right here, this is a massive pull. We basically pulled as much as we could for this one. We do get low on health, low on mana. And if you do want to see the end result, what happens, you will have to tune in for the next video. So take care, everyone. This is the Horde version of Hobbs.